ان الحمد لله نحمده ونستعينه ونستهديه ونستغفره ونعوذ بالله من شرور انفسنا ومن سيئات اعمالنا من يهده الله فلا مضل له ومن يضلل فلا هادي له واشهد ان لا اله الا الله وحده لا شريك له واشهد ان محمدا عبده ورسوله صلى الله عليه وعلى اله واصحابه وسلم تسليما كثيرا اما بعد patience he, the author says as-sabr 'ala al-adha fi as-sabr 'ala al-adha fi patience in attaining knowledge of course you need patience for that uh, attaining in conveying knowledge you have to have patience for that that's why a lot of people fall off the wagon uh, abu ubay spent four, 40 years writing his collection gharib al-hadith ibn abd al-bar spent 30 years writing his book at-tamheed the, the book, you, you know, Fath al-Bari, that we quote a lot by Ibn Hajar. He spent 23 years writing and revising in, in, in that book. So you need patience in attaining and conveying knowledge. You need patience in application of knowledge. The second one. You need a, a, a patience in da'wah to Allah. Patience goes all to all that. However, the statement of the author here is geared a little bit more specifically to patience in da'wah to Allah, the third matter, the one we just mentioned. Because he says, patience in harm that you endure. And usually, the, star, the harm that you endure usually becomes, comes when you start giving da'wah to Allah. Because of da'ayah, he calls people on to change and liberate themselves from their desires. The desires that are embedded within them, some evil traditions that have become part of them. They become part of them like their flesh and blood. Their parents, grandparents, and great grandparents were doing it. Adaya calls people on to leave the evil matters and follow regulations. And that's always difficult to do. Follow regulations set forth by Allah. Sometimes they never even, even heard of them before. It's difficult for people to change their nature. So what they usually do is resist and oppose and take it on the messenger. And take it on the messenger just trying to convey that to him. Therefore, a a real Muslim for that matter, has the option. I'll leave da'wah or I'll leave aspects of my Islam. That's the option. Which of course is not an option to a believer. So leaving aspects of your Islam like a niqabiyya or hijab or... Uh, beard or salah because one's ridiculed or mocked or something happens to him in that matter that's not an option for a believer and likewise leaving da'wah leaving da'wah is also and should not be an option the prophet sallallahu said in sunan al-tirmidhi al-mu'min alladhi yukhalat al-nas wa yasbir ala adhahum khayrun min al-mu'min alladhi la yukhalat al-nas wa la yasbir ala adhahum the prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said a believer who mix and mingles with people for da'wah, teaching them, and he's patient over their harm, because they're going to harm him, is better than a believer who goes into solitary in his house and does not, is not patient over, the, uh, over their harm. So the other option is, the, the solution is, the cure to the matter is, is to get acquainted with something called sabr. Everyone needs it. But a da'ya who calls onto Islam with his actions, whether it's with his sayings, whether it's his actions, whether it's in, many, in, in any of the many different means of da'wah, he needs sabr. A da'ya is in dire and desperate need of sabr. Sabr is his, is, is his, brightness, in his, heart, his brightness in his heart that never dims. Patience, a sabr for a da'ya, jawadun la yakbu, it's a steed that doesn't stumble. A sabr for a da'ya is jundun la yuhzam. It's a military or an army, an undefeated army. A sabr for a da'ya is an undemolishable fortress. Is a husnun la yuhzam. So that is sabr for a da'ya. You need it for a practicing believer. Of course, every believer is supposed to be practicing. But today, with our circumstances, you have to add practicing believer. Next point, where do you get out of patience? Patience is an unpenetrable armor and a shield. A da'ya uses patience like a soldier in a military soldier uses an armor or a helmet or a bulletproof vest. That's a da'ya uses patience in the same way a, a, a military soldier uses that. 
Allah said, وَإِن تَصْبِرُوا وَتَتَّقُوا لَا يَضُرُّكُمْ كَيْدُهُمْ شَيْئًا If you remain patient and steadfast and a muttaqi, their harm, their cunning, their conspiracy will not harm you. It's an honor for one who's patient that Allah says with him, إِنَّ اللَّهَ مَعَ الصَّابِرِينَ Allah is with those who preserve patience. إِنَّ اللَّهَ مَعَ الصَّابِرِينَ Okay, there's two types of ma'iyya. There's two types of accompanying of Allah. The first one is the general. General accompanying of Allah. Ma'iyya amma. General accompanying of Allah. Which is Allah's knowledge over this whole universe. Then you have the special honorary accompanying of Allah. And that's what me and you need. And that's what me and you strive for. The first one is for everybody. The second one is only for a selected few individuals. Who are they? In Surah Al-Mujadala, Allah said, أَلَمْ تَرَ أَنَّ اللَّهَ يَعْلَمُ مَا فِي السَّمَاوَاتِ وَمَا فِي الْأَرْضِ مَا يَكُونُ مِنْ نَجْوَى ثَلَاثَةٍ إِلَّا هُوَ رَابِعُهُمْ وَلَا خَمْسَةٍ إِلَّا هُوَ سَادِسُهُمْ وَلَا أَدْنَى مِنْ ذَلِكَ وَلَا أَكْفَرَ إِلَّا هُوَ مَعْهُمْ أَيْنَمَا كَانُوا ثُمَّ يُنَبِّهُمْ بِمَا عَمِلُوا يَوْمَ الْقِيَامِ Allah said, Allah knows what's ever in the heaven and the earth. Knowledge, His knowledge accompanies everything. مَا يَكُونُ مِنْ نَجْوَى ثَلَاثَةٍ There's not, نَجْوَى means secret. There's no secret between three except Allah is there fourth, with His knowledge. Allah is above His throne, Allah is above the seven heavens, above His throne. الرَّحْمَانُ عَلَى الْعَشِ اسْتَوَى This verse means with His knowledge. There's no three that have a secret except Allah is their, their fourth with His knowledge. Nor five except Allah is their sixth with His knowledge. Nor any more than that or any less than that except Allah is with them. This is the general Accompanying of Allah. Surah Al-Mujadala likewise. So you know when you read the Quran which is the general accompanying of Allah and the special accompanying of Allah. Surah Al-Mujadala. هُوَ الَّذِي خَلَقَ السَّمَاوَاتِ وَالْأَرْضَ فِي سِتَّةِ أَيَّامٍ ثُمَّ اسْتَوَى عَلَى الْعَرْشِ يَعْلَمُ مَا يَلِجُ فِي الْأَرْضِ وَمَا يَخْرُجُ مِنْهَا وَمَا يَنْزِلُ مِنَ السَّمَاءِ وَمَا يَعْرُجُ فِيهَا وَهُوَ مَعَكُمْ أَيْنَمَا كُنْتُمْ اللَّهُ بِمَا تَعْمَلُونَ بَصِيرٌ This summary of the verse, the summary of the verse, he is with you by his knowledge wherever you may be. He is with you with his knowledge wherever you may be. General for everyone. Believer, non-believer, muttaqi, wherever you may be, Allah is with you. General. In Surah Al-Talaq, الله الذي خلق سبع سماوات ومن الأرض مثلهن يتنزل الأمر بينهن لتعلم أن الله على كل شيء قدير وأن الله قد حاط بكل شيء علما. Allah surrounds all things with His knowledge. The summary. Allah surrounds everything with His knowledge. أحاط بكل شيء علما. This is the general. General. معية عامة. Now take the معية خاصة. The special honorary accompanying of Allah with His knowledge to you. معية خاصة. اصبروا إن الله مع الصابرين. In Surah Al-Anfal, Allah said, be patient. Allah is with those who are patient. In Surah Al-Tawbة, لا تحزن. ثاني اثنين ذو ما في الغارض يقول لصاحبه لا تحزن إن الله معنا. When the Prophet صلى الله عليه وسلم was in the cave fleeing to Mecca, from Mecca to Medina, he told Abu Bakr رضي الله عنه, لا تحزن. Don't be sad. Don't be afraid. Don't grieve. Allah is with us. Special. Honorary. Honorary accompanying of Allah. When Allah sent Musa and Harun in Surah Al-Taha, إِنَّنِي مَعَكُمَا أَسْمَعْ وَأَرَى I'm with you both. I can hear you and I can see you. مَعَيَّ خَاصَّ بِالْمُؤْمِنْ تَأْتِ فِي سِيَاقِ الْمَدِحْ وَالثَّنَاءِ For the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, in the cave, for Musa and Harun, we sent them to Fir'aun. For الصَّابِرُون, anyone who's صَابِر, special accompanying of Allah, with his knowledge, special, honorary, for special people. It's a compliment, it's a praise, it's a su support from Allah. That's what me and you need. If we want that special accompanying of Allah with his knowledge to look out for us, we need to do it, we gain it by having patience. Inna Allah ma'as sabirin. Inna Allah ma'as sabirin. The special, honorary, complimentary accompanying of Allah for those who are patient. More reward for those who are patient. Wallahu yuhibbu sabirin. Focus on these two ayat with me. Allah loves those who are patient. The first one is, Allah is with those who are patient. Allah loves those who are patient. Two ayat. Take these two ayat and put aside 88 other ayat in the Quran that talk about patience. Imam Ahmad is quoted as saying, there's 90 ayat in the Quran that mention or talk about patience. You take these two, 
If you take these two and contemplate things, if you know Allah is with you, the special, honorary, accompanying of Allah, al al khassa you know Allah loves you from the second verse. You know Allah is with you from the first verse. You know Allah loves you from the second verse. If you let it register and believe it in your mind, you know that He accompanies you with His knowledge, the special honorary way, then how could you ever be afraid or feel lonely? If Allah is with you and you feel it and you let it sink in and you know Allah is with you, how could you ever be afraid or lonely? And if you know Allah loves you from the second verse, then how could you ever grieve or worry? If Allah loves you, how could you grieve or worry? You want the glad tidings from Allah? Then get it through sabr. وَلَنَبْلُوَنَّكُمْ بِشَيْءٍ مِنَ الْخَوْفِ وَالْجُوعِ وَنَقْصٍ مِنَ الْأَمْوَالِ وَالْأَنْفُسِ وَالثَّمَرَاتِ وَبَشِّرَ الصَّابِرِينَ الَّذِينَ إِذَا صَابَتُمْ مُصِيبَةً Certainly you're going to be tested. You're going to be tested with fear. You're going to be tested with hunger. Loss of wealth, you're going to be tested with loss of fruits. But have the glad, but have the glad tidings for those who are patient. They have a glad tidings. Who are they? The ones who say, You want the angels to enter on you in Jannah from all the gates? The angels enter on to them, to you insha'Allah, to us. The angels will enter upon you saying, Salamun alaykum, peace be upon you. You preserved patient. Excellent indeed is the final home. The outcome has been excellent. Why? Why did they greet them? They said, Salamun alaykum bima sabartum. They gave them the salam based on the quality of their patience. In Surah Al-Zumar, إِنَّمَا يُوَفَّ الصَّابِرُونَ أَجْرَهُمْ بِغَيْرِ حِسَابٍ Those who are patient get, receive their full reward without any reckoning. You get abundance amount of reward for patience. When someone generous says, I got you, I got this safe for you, you know that there's a lot. Imagine Al-Kareem, the ultimate in his generosity says, you patient, يُوَفَّ الصَّابِرُونَ أَجْرًا Abundance in reward. In Surah Al-Sajda, we made from them, from among them, leaders guided by our command when they were, when they were patient and they were certain of our signs. When did they become imams? When they were patient and certain. وَجَعَلْنَا مِنْهُمْ أَئِمَّةً يَهْدُونَ بِأَمْرِنَا لَمَّا صَبَرُوا Ibn Taymiyyah, Ibn Al-Qayyim, Jawziyyah, and uh, Ibn Kathir say statements similar to that which بِالصَّبْرِ وَالْيَقِينَ تُنَالَ الْإِمَامَ بِالدِّينَ With patience and certainty, one obtains leadership in religion. With patience and certainty, one obtains uh, leadership in religion. Patience with certainty, tie them together. If patience and certainty are tied into a knot, you get leadership. That knot is leadership in Islam.